<laughs> we found some vegetable and they're fighting over chickens are so fun to watch there's a hunter you saw it oh she's a hunter she loves to hunt that's hunter oh and they're fighting over blackie has the they're playing a game now we can basically get that Really, everyone is excited at having it's the hunter. She's she's trying to get it. Oh, there's a bite to the neck. So like, she got it. Come on. So I have to use this is my way of getting them to come in. Come on, let's go. Make a sound, something that they can learn to fight. They're all at the doors. Except for Blackie, she's being resistant. Come on. Get your snack. She just picked up a snack. Come on. Come on, come on. Let's go. Come on, let's go. She's a stubborn little girl. Oh, now they're all were in there. Let's go. Oh, they were all really good. Come on, Blackie. In there. Come on, get in there. Get in there. Good girl. Ah, oh, they're hiding. Come on, Chuck Chucks. Oh. Come on. Need the boys. They're getting more and more warui. There you go, good girls. So the chickens will go in there. They have their own personality. Oh, it's okay. All right. They got their food in there. They got everything's cleaned out. Yeah. Uh, got the double latch here. Really simple system. Really easy to make. And they're all eating their food. Hang up in there. They're in. All right. So what I did was. I put those bucket of worms. We we're going to go fishing. It's just too hot. And we'll get more worms next time. And I put them under here. And what I want to do is just make a recording of this tree. Now something I do is, is when I see the little tip of a growth here, um, I, don't, I don't really want these branches to grow out so much. Right? So I want more of the, um, the growth to be in other places. So um, I'm basically taking out the uh, the growth. So I have put down chicken. This is actually chicken, uh, about a week old chicken stuff. It's got poop and pee and everything else. The high, very high uh, nitrogen jaded, the whatever. And um, ultimately, it's going to probably turn the tree. It should into that tree. Combination of worms, that plenty of funguses and stuff. Wet it down, and good to go. So here's another thing I do. I basically this is my urine. And I just fill it with this water here. Dilute it down. And I have this container here. Put the, put the uh, top back on. Right. And now this has basically really good water, a lot of nitrogen, nit nitrates in it. Okay. And basically then I have the top off, right? And I just use as an injector. Not too close. Place it on the side here. Let's push it in the ground. All right. And there's a feeder. And it'll soak in there. It'll slowly come out. The heat up. Right. And I could actually take it. A little on this is like stuff on here to get the um, what's it called? The uh, this is nitrogen on the green. And there's fuku and stuff in here. You know, do that. Put this right here.
Okay. And what I want to do is try to find a. Oh, no, that's not one there. I'll just leave right there. That's good. All right. Looking good. You know, our urine and our, our feces. Um, and um, it's such an amazing source of nutrients, and, and we just don't use it anymore. And I really recommend you you go and uh, research something called the um, Human Manure Handbook. You can find a PDF, just type Human Manure Handbook PDF and read it. It's probably just going to blow your mind. And it's written by an expert who's, you know, ultimately uh, really knows about the whole biodiversity and stuff. And uh, and I have a plan. One of my found-ups in the future will be basically um, um, a disposable toilet that you poop in, and then ultimately you safely put it in the garden. Um, and you bury it two feet down, you know, under a tree or where you're going to plant something, and you forget about it. Um, and uh, completely safe and everything else. So, uh, yeah. Um. <laughs> well, I'm going to go cool off.